For cheap Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code EGHD at the checkout to get 5% off your order. Hey what's up guys, Jack here and this is episode 7 of Let's Play FIFA 15 and we start off this episode by going to the concept squads and actually using it um, because I haven't used it for this series yet. I thought, you know what, um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you know team I'm building uh, until I actually change my league or nationality with my team. So this is the kind of team that I want to build. I, obviously I'm missing players like Toure, Hazard. Um, Van Persie, Falcao. I'm not putting the most expensive players in because I don't want it to take that long and just spend all that time on BPL players but I think I should have this team within somewhere between three and five episodes so I reckon we should have this team by about 11 or 12 episodes in. Uh, that's that's what I think anyway. All depends on pack luck as well and if I can win games I get more packs etc. Um, but we start off when we buy a new player uh, for that centre mid role because I've now moved my formation to the second 4 one 2 2 formation uh, which I've had a lot more success with on my squad builders on my main channel which you guys don't really get to see each and every game of and uh, I've also started using a different um, instruction for my CDM uh, basically when you go to your startup go to team management right stick twice I think it is go to your instructions go to your CDM and put his attacking behavior on stay back whilst attacking that way if you ever do get caught in a counter attack your CDM should be there to kind of support your center backs and it really does help as a lot of the goals do come from the center of the pitch on this FIFA so that's something I recommend doing if you're struggling to defend uh, that that does help I mean it's not gonna make you better at tackling or anything but it does support you when you're trying to defend and we go one nil up on this game we was playing really well we was doing some nice body feints and this was uh, this was actually Dembele's first game with first time using this formation was as I said just doing so well but here I think that is Jeffy powers his way through here goes for the left foot or right foot finish and uh, almost almost get it in there with a the header but he just clears it away and um, what am I going to talk about? Um, oh yeah, I bought Dembele for 6,300. I stupidly bought the one uh, that was in CDM position. So I had to buy a, 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 a basically a position change. I don't know why I started on that. But um, it cost me 1,500 coins extra. And I should have just sold Dembele for like 200 coins under his buy now. So it sold straight away. And just picked up a new one. That way I wouldn't have lost 1,500 coins. But as you can see here, he gets through and he actually scores a goal here. And you can see me changing my... Um, my mentality of my team or my I don't know what you call it actually to park park the bus um, the reason why is because if he's getting through that easy to counter-attack there's I, I want my defenders back I don't want to be caught in a counter-attack like that but uh, we do get a little bit lucky here his goalkeeper makes a brilliant save I didn't do much wrong with the finish I guess I could have finished it earlier but um, I go three one up and uh, this guy was still good he was still going forward as you can see he's got loads of players up and he's definitely pushing hard uh, I'm not sure what kind of mentality he has he has Thiago Silva up, <laughs> up in the uh, in the striker position there that's probably because he's LBAing all the time with his centre-backs but um, he does get a goal back here, and uh, that was with Cavani, 87 minutes, and uh, it's a very simple goal. Again, another goal that comes from the centre of the pitch. If you uh, open up your, if they open up your centre backs, that's how easy it is. But 90th minute, his goalkeeper was up for the uh, corner because his mentality was probably uh, all-out attack. And uh, I do catch it on my chest with Duff and put it into the back of the net, and uh, that is the end of the game. I win that game 4-2. And stupidly, when going to receive my coins, my coin boosts and all that stuff it says that I quit out the game and I've heard a lot of people have had this issue where you get um, you get disconnected from the game even if you're if you even if you win the game like me you saw that game I won it 4-2 and I actually get a loss on my account I don't get the coins for it um, I lose contracts but I don't lose fitness um, but obviously in the series I know I won that game so I'm still gonna open up three packs and um, but as I said, guys, I've been using a different formation, 4-1-2-1-2 in brackets too, and it's much better. It's got the centre mids that are a lot tighter, and because the wingers are not essentially useless, but they're not as effective in this game, that formation is kind of like the new 4-1-2-1-2 that is better for you, if that makes sense. Uh, but in these packs, I, as you saw there, I did pack a Marquisio, and I think he goes for about 7,000 coins, which obviously, once I sell, I can pretty much trade for a Ramsey or something like that, because he's going for about that price at the moment. And uh, we also pick up a new cam, um, Ross Barkley, someone I didn't expect to actually use um, right at the start of this series. Um, he's a good player. He's got 5-star weak foot, 3-star skills, um, he's very, very good actually. And uh, we started the next game, going to the next game. I actually forgot to change my CDM uh, mentality to kind of stick back whilst going forwards. But we're going to test it out, see how well it works. And uh, go here on the attack first off with Barkley. And I was like, you know what, I know he's right footed, but he's got that five star weak foot. I'll take a shot. And he, he takes me down. I knew he had a red card because it says in the top right, on the top left of the screen, uh, he's got a red card behind his team straight away. And that's how you know if, if you're going to get a red card or not. And we go 1 0 up 
with that penalty. We do get a little bit, not lucky, but he goes uh, for the uh, corner clearance. It doesn't clear quite enough. I'd shuffle to the right because I knew that he was going to watch my left foot with Dembele because he knew, knew he was left-footed. So I shuffled to the right, put it into the back of the net. Went to change my uh, CDM's mentality and he had quit out the game. But luckily this time I do get my coins. Um, but for those of you that have had these problems where people disconnect from you, um, I've heard people try to reset their cash and stuff like this. Um, also someone told me to reset my Xbox or hard reset it. If you don't know what that is, all you've got to do is literally unplug the power to your Xbox and leave it for about 30 seconds. It's kind of like resetting your router. Uh, because the, your Xbox relies on power, it's basically on standby when, when the power's in. If you take it out, it completely resets it. It's like shutting down your PC. It just gets rid of all the memory and that should work. But again, I think it's to do with the EA servers. So if it is, it won't make a difference. But it's worth a try anyway uh, if it's going to save you a loss on your account. So we actually pick up um, a CDM called Matic. Um, I think he was actually around 7,000 coins. And um, yeah. Big CDM, very big, six foot four. Not as fast as my other players that are having that kind of role, uh, but I needed someone of some quality, and he definitely is quality. He's not an agile player, as I said, he's very tall. So, uh, be interesting to see how I get on with him. As uh, as I said, he's quite different to my normal CDMs. But we go into the next game, and this time I do remember to change that mentality. But as you can see, this guy's got a pretty decent team. Nothing special actually. Definitely nothing special. He's got a player there, centre back, with absolutely no chemistry, and. Um, Going to the first bit here, and I'm actually all over him. This guy, I must have had four or five chances back to back. Literally, as soon as I got the ball, went forward, attacked, and how I not, how I did not score with these attacks, I do not know. As you can see here, I think this is Barkley getting through. Go for the shot again. The keeper saves it. This guy was playing out of his skin in terms of his goalkeeper, but as soon as it's his opportunity, goes for a shot that was never going to score, and it deflects into my goal. Just typical. That's how FIFA works. Every now and again. You do get a little bit of bullshit, but here, Longer getting through again, and it was blocked, went for a corner, and I think on the counter-attack of that corner, um, I think it was anyway, gets through and dinks it round the keeper, which was a nice goal, but I was thinking, this is so undeserved, how am I two goals behind from this? I do not understand, and again, he gets through here, just puts it into the back of the net, don't understand what the hell was going on in this game, because it did feel slightly uh, undeserved, uh, but we do score... I was going to say a nice goal, but that was not a nice goal. Shouldn't have been scoring that goal, to be honest. But the goalkeeper just didn't know how to handle the power from Jeff. But we do lose that game 3-1. Um, and there is things to learn. I need to definitely... That's the first game in snow. It's a lot different. But that is the end of this episode. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video. 500 likes would be amazing. As well, make sure you do subscribe to Ezekiel Gaming HD for more of this. And I'll see you later. Bye.